Hi, Hiram here. You know, the last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Evernew titanium alcohol stove with uh, the titanium Evernew titanium cross piece pot stand. Uh, since then, I've been getting you know bunches of comments. One of them I got from Winter Trekker, where he was suggesting that the Click Stand Company sells uh, the titanium, the Evernew titanium stove with their stuff. In fact, it's even listed. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. This is a combination pack and they have different things that they have with it and they even have the ever no list, ever new listed there. But anyway, he brought it up about how they also sell the Trangia Simmering that it fits on there. So along with that stuff, I thought maybe I'd do a test using my click stand since I happen to have one. Also I got a comment from M. Harrigfield Harrigfield, M. Harrigfield where he said the stove looks promising for sure but I would be concerned about the stability of having boiling water directly on the stove without a stand. It did not look very stable. That's true when I use my standard pot that I use for boiling I think you can see it's been used fairly roughly. It's not exactly flat anymore. So when I put it on the stand yesterday, see it does wobble. But I think that's more a problem of the pot being all bent up than necessarily the stand. That being said, the diameter here of the surface where you would set it on the pots on the stove, which backing up a little bit, this is a stove then, not just a burner. Remember my definition way back when? If you needed a pot stand on something, then it was a burner. But if you could actually set the pot right on it, then it's a stove. So this is a stove. Anyway, the diameter here where it sets is 1.82 inches or 46.4 milliliters. Milliliters. Millimeters. It's getting hot again. Millimeters. So it's a, a fairly small area for a large pot, the uh, putting the pot stand on increases at the 3.78 inches or 96 millimeters, so that would be more stable. But again, I think it's mostly because my pot is all bent and warped. So what I'm going to do today is try it in the click stand. Now the click stand comes with a ring here that you set, normally you would set your Trangia in there and it fits nice and steady the whole bit. Now one thing with the Trangia versus the Evernew is the Trangia has this flange, nice flat flange that'll fit in there and not wobble. The hole on this, on the uh, click stand, is what? 2.78 inches in diameter or 71 millimeters when you go to the Evernew stove, unfortunately, see how the Trangia had that nice flat flange? The Evernew doesn't have much of a flange there. The diameter of this is 2.62 inches or 66.6 .6 millimeters. Then the diameter of this part is 2.79 inches or 71 millimeters. So the difference there isn't very much but then on top of it you have a radius here so with a radius you don't have a nice flat edge so with that the Evernew can be put in here but it wobbles a little bit you can put it there just like that now it's nice and steady but you know you gotta be careful I mean I, I feel perfectly safe with this see how it's not moving if you get it in there just right, it's just like the old manhole things. Manhole covers, they made them round because they'd fit on a hole and never fall through. If you made them square, they could drop through, that kind of bit. So if you put it on there just right, it is nice and steady. So what I'll do now, I'll do a boiling test here without the windscreen. I'm not going to use the windscreen on this today. Just the click stand. Let me go get my water prepped. I'll get my alcohol in here, one fluid ounce this time, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I have my water prepped. 
it's 59 degrees. Maybe by the time I get this going, it'll... Okay, that's lit. One fluid ounce of methanol in there. I measured it, poured it in, and the one fluid ounce did go up to the line. Let's wait for this to come to a bloom. I don't know if I mentioned that, yes, the uh, simmer ring does fit in here on top of the Evernews stove with plenty of room for opening it. So that could be a plus. Okay, now this will be a whole lot different with these three points here for holding the pot up. It's a much larger diameter. Go along with um, Har M. Harrigfeld. Feld, sorry. Uh, gives you a wider stance on the holding the pot. Okay, it looks like we got blooming. I did some measurements here from the top of the burner, the inner burner to the bottom of the pot is going to be one inch or about 25.6 millimeters. The outside holes to the bottom of the pot is one and a half inches or 38.2 millimeters. Okay, I got 60 degrees here. Bloom's going. Put that on two cups of water at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. Okay, there we are at two minutes. The temperature's up to 131 degrees. Looks like a pretty nice flame. I'll spread out on the bottom of the pot. So this is doing pretty good. So let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 455. Cool. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 4 minutes 55 seconds. When I did it with the cross stand, now let me turn the light on, when I did it with the cross stand, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 40 seconds. So it saved us 40, 45 seconds, let's say. Alright, let's let this go until it runs out and get a time on that. Okay, we're going, going, gone at 6 minutes 45 seconds. Huh, that's strange. Hmm, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, well, that was one fluid ounce. How long did it go the other day? 18 minutes. When I did the test where, well, that was, that was a simmer the whole time, so that doesn't count. I was thinking that's kind of a short time. So that was two cups of water uh, starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 81, humidity 72. With humidity meter says wet, it's going to rain outside. Came to a boil in 4 minutes 55 seconds and then ran out in 6.45 and that was with one fluid ounce of methanol. So not bad. No simmer time, but not bad. So that's the. It's gonna be hot. That's the Evernew titanium alcohol stove using the click stand without the windscreen. Hope that helps Winter Trekker. He had commented about this. That's why I like these comments and suggestions and things. So, I have another one coming up here, another request that was made. I'll be doing another one right after this, but that's this setup. You notice I kind of ramble when it gets hot in here? <laughs> so anyway, I thank uh, Winter Trekker for his comment. I thank M. Harrigfeld for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always... Watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.